Okay, today I'm going to take you on a tour of my apartment and then I'm going to play my pump organ. Here we go. Okay, we're going into my apartment. I started the phonograph. Ooh, let me wipe the camera, it's blurry. Okay. That cylinder has a scratch in it, um, but it'll fix itself. Cause there's a feed screw. Let me turn on the flash. See, there's that feed screw. So it will fix if it scratches, if there's a scratch on the record. I have no words. Okay, so this is the parlor. So I restored this machine right here. I believe it's a Columbia disc graphophone. When I got it, it was just the box and the motor inside and the turntable, nothing else. So I brought the long throat reproducer, I brought the holding arm, brought the crank, brought the needles. Anyway, and I use that amplifying horn. I need to buy a new witch's hat horn. This clock is probably off just a tad, maybe about two minutes. It says it is six, seven, eight. It says it is eight, um, 15, 16, 17. It says it is 15. 817? Yeah, it says it's 817. I think it's it. Oh, well, it is 817. Now I just looked in the top left of my phone. So it is on time. And it, today's the night. Here is my television. Oh, okay. Well, it's going to be loud. You know why? Because I forgot to, um, I forgot that I disconnected the Roku. Removed my shock therapy device from 1854. Let's see, let me turn this on. There we go. Now it's doing something. Let me put a DVD in. Why not Bates Motel? Okay, here we go. Any day now to read that DVD. Okay, well, while we wait on that, let's go to the other room. You can see I've been doing some experiments. Sounds like Bates Motel is on there. I don't know, it's doing the ads before the movie. Let me turn down the, the contrast so you can actually see something. There you go. And that cylinder is over. Okay, let's go to the other room. It's a bit hot in here. Let me turn on this flash. I found this fan in my grandpa's shed when I was six before he died. Um, actually, it's my great grandpa, but I found this in his shed before he died and um, it, I was six years old and my dad, I insisted that I wanted it. And my dad was like, no, it's dangerous. If you stick your fingers in there, you cut them off. But anyway, and yes, I did just do that. But anyway, um, so I convinced my dad to let me bring it home, but he said, I'll only let you bring it home under one condition. We have to cut the cord off. And I'm like, okay. And when we first got it, you had to spin it with a broomstick to get it to go or it wouldn't move. So when I got it home, of course, I was six years old. I put a new cord on it and I oiled it and here it is to this day. It also oscillates. So if I hold this gear right here, or actually if I spin it like that, it'll start oscillating. And then to make it stop, you just hold the gear again and now it stopped. Okay, let's go on to the other room. Oh, Bates Motel is now on. Okay. Here's my vacuum cleaner. I need to take out the trash. Ugh. Okay, there's my toaster. Here's the organ I'll be playing. It's a pump organ. So you have to pump the foot pedals and it pumps up bellows and sends air through reeds. That's why you can get away with there being nothing in there. See? Well, up here. It's not a piano. But there is stuff all down there. And there's bellows down there. 
Anyway, there's my sewing machine. I'm working on some clothes, tailoring them. Um, there's a couch I got for free. One of my TikTok fans donated it. I bought this chair on Etsy. The whole bottom had fallen out of the chair, so I fixed that. Um, and it, oh, it's a mess in here. Oops. There's the Annabelle doll because I like to collect horror movie things. I have a curling iron warmer and a Marcel curling iron for when guests stay here. I also have one of those hair crimpers that gives you like that wave on your hair like flappers have. I also have a, uh, um, a, I forget what it's called, but it's some kind of curling iron that makes you have curls like this along your, um, your hair. Anyway, ooh, I can't talk. This is some original cologne from the World's Fair of 1899. I think that's what this is. Yeah. Exposition Universal uh, Paris of 1900. This was featured in the World's Fair. And it smells like lemons and kerosene. Anyway, it's probably because it's aged. Here's my bathroom. Mess again. Anyway, and then there's my straight edge razor and all that good stuff. Okay. This is, I'm sure y'all are wondering what's in here. It's a mess, I know. It's one of my junk closets. Anyway, okay, there's that. Where am I going? Okay, well, I guess now I'm going to go play the pop organ. Okay, I'm going to put y'all on this gossip chair. Um, this gossip chair is from the 20s because a telephone would go there and you would sit there and gossip. So that's where it got the name gossip chair. Okay, now I'm going to play the organ. This organ, I believe, is from 1899. Okay, what shall I play? You know, I may need to break out the hymnal so that I can read the words to this hymn I'm about to play because I, I just realized I forgot the words. Okay, give me one sec. Well, apparently I cannot find the sheet music to this song, so I won't be able to read the words to it, but I will play it still because, as y'all know, or some of y'all know, um, I don't read music for the piano or organ. I can't read music fast enough. The, I know the bass clef is good boys do fine always in the in the um, spaces are all cows eat grass. And for the treble clef, it's E-G-B-D-F, and the spaces are F-A-C-E, uh, face. But I still can't keep up with sheet music. Anyway. Okay, so this song is called The Church in the Wildwood, and it was written in 1851. I may sing some of it because I do remember some of it. There's a church in the valley by the wildwood, no lovelier place in the dale. No spot is so dear to my childhood as a little brown church. Yeah. 